Good morning, everybody. Meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Wednesday morning. We're starting off with pretty quiet weather this morning. In fact, there is high pressure over central Nebraska this morning. You see the clockwise rotation right in here. Very light winds around it. So calm to light winds to start our day. A few extra clouds here towards the west and southwest. These clouds will be rolling into the area as the day goes on. So most of our sunshine will be this morning, and that's when most of our warming will take place. With clouds moving in this afternoon, temperatures kind of start to level off a little bit and don't warm up much this afternoon. As that high scoots to the east, it'll be over here in Iowa by this afternoon. We'll develop a southeasterly wind that will get a bit on the breezy side. Strongest winds will be right here in southwest Nebraska. And meanwhile, you kind of saw it there, a few... Uh, Sprinkles or some very light rain lifting into the area along with the clouds. Not expecting much for any kind of measurable moisture, but again, a very, very minor precipitation event is possible this afternoon and into this evening. But then better chances will come later tonight and into tomorrow. We'll keep most of the clouds around tonight with uh, continued breezy conditions, and that's going to help to keep temperatures elevated. So as we see moisture become a little more widespread, a little more scattered at least here for your Thursday morning, late uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, it should all stay liquid precipitation. The winds and the clouds will keep temperatures warm enough that we should not see any wintry precipitation. So we have some scattered showers around tomorrow morning for parts of the area. Some of that will continue into your Thursday. Now the main low pressure system is going to be well to our south. I'll show you it here in just a bit, in fact. But that low pressure system is going to be to our south. So we're going to be on the northern edge of the rain. But there will continue to be a chance of rain. Meanwhile, continued breezy southeasterly winds. Winds will turn more northeasterly right in here where the rain will be coming to an end. Still some showers into tomorrow evening for southern and eastern parts of the area and right around the Tri-Cities that's included. This is mostly going to be light rain though here as we get into uh, tomorrow and tomorrow evening. And then once we get past midnight, most of that diminishes. Clouds kind of holding tough for a while, but there'll start to be some breaks early on Friday morning. These clouds will diminish Friday morning, so a lot more sunshine expected by later in the day. Friday, Friday afternoon should see more sunshine and we'll start to see a recovery in a, uh, t the temperature. So I'm going to back this up real quick here and also what I'm going to do here is um, actually uh, show you what this uh, map looks like farther south here. So hopefully this will stay like that. There we go. So look what happens here as this comes out of the Rockies and moves in here. So this is going to jump ahead to tomorrow. So there's the rain. But look how the bulk of this system goes to our south, Texas, Oklahoma. That's where the brunt of the moisture will be, unfortunately. So we're just getting a little bit of it here. You can see it right there. But unfortunately, the bulk of the moisture will be to our south with that low pressure system. So we kind of miss out. And how much are we talking? Well, most of us, we're going to be looking at, at best probably a tenth, maybe two tenths of an inch of rain. So we're talking 10 to 20 hundredths, maybe a quarter of an inch. But the majority of us won't get, get over a quarter of an inch. But maybe some isolated spots, get, you know, in the blue there. And this is one model's pr perspective of what we could get here. But maybe some isolated spots, a little over a quarter of an inch of rain. But most of us will likely end out with under a quarter of an inch of rainfall. So this isn't going to be a big weather maker. Temperatures for today topping out in the uh, fit, uh, mid to upper 50s and lower 60s. Tonight dropping back into the upper 30s and lower to mid 40s, so warm enough, no frozen precipitation. For tomorrow, we're looking at high temperatures in the uh, 50s and lower 60s, so a cool day out there. And then tomorrow night, 20s, 30s, and lower 40s for lows. Your Friday, starting to see some temperature recovery with lower 60s for highs, maybe some mid 60s out there. So we'll see a nice warming trend heading into the end of the week. This upcoming weekend looks really nice right now with temperatures up into the mid to upper 60s. Weather looks great for the Husker game in Lincoln. Halloween looks good, a high around 70 in the first day of November. Looks good as well, close to 70 again with some breezy winds. It looks like the end of next week is when we'll see some dropping temperatures. It gets a little bit colder later next week and our next chance of moisture will move in. Well, I want to thank you all for watching on this Wednesday morning. I'll see you all again on Thursday with all of the latest. Until then, take care and God bless. Bye.